and welcome to Exploring the Holos. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about the state of education in this country and how things work and why we need an overhaul of what's been going on. And recently in the news, um, Donald Trump, I'm not sure if this was at a rally or just a video he put out, probably on Truth, probably on Truth Social, um, saying that if he gets reelected, he's going to have the American Institute, I believe he calls it, which is going to be a free college, a tuition free college for all Americans. It's going to be anti woke. Now, free is a little bit hard to. Um, understand how he's going to do this because he wants to have it uh, run by private companies. Nobody is going to do anything for free. So it's going to have to come out of taxpayer money, almost like a public school. So you're going to have this four year, a four year college, a basic, you know, like a university paid for by taxpayers. And I don't know what the average yearly tuition is, but for like a decent school, it's around 50000 a year. And uh, that's going to be hard for the taxpayers to pay for something like that. And he made it sound like this is going to be an online school. So I don't know how that would work. But my main concern, you know, if this was an actual school that was accredited that if you didn't put that precursor in there, um, anti-woke, I would feel a little bit better about it. But I mean, anti-woke to whose standards? Um, that sounds a little dystopian to me. That sounds a little dystopian to me. Um, it's almost like you're not going to have the freedom of speech when you're teaching your students. And I find that a little disturbing. For someone to be woke, as far as I understand it, they have to be educated. The definition when I look it up, when I Google it, it says aware of social injustice. So to be not woke would be not aware. And I don't know how that doesn't mean uneducated or ignorant. So you're going to have this American Institute, a four-year college, that's going to concentrate on not educating people and making them ignorant. Now, when you look at the bigger picture as to what the ruling class wants, they want an electorate, a populace that is not educated because when they become educated, they understand that the rulers are not treating them right. They think of ways to overcome the rulers. They think of ways to better not need the rulers and be able to govern themselves. Um, an uneducated populace is easier to control and that's what they want. And in recent years, they've been destroying the public public school system in favor of a private school system where parents can choose the education that they want their kids to get. I mean, there should only be one education, the correct truth education. If you're not getting enlightened by your education, then it's kind of the opposite of what it should be doing. You should want your kids to be woke, is what I'm saying. If you have a negative, if you have a negative view of wokeness, then you need to question whether you're in a cult or not. Um, and that also goes back to being able to get people to go along with wars um, they use the media to 
try to drum up support for foreign wars in other countries when the population here is not educated to know what's going on and they depend on the population not being educated enough to not support the killing in other countries. Like 90%, I'm not sure if it's 90%, but it sure seems like it. The people here in this country have no idea the history between Israel and Palestine. And to them, this war over there started October 7th. And it's not the case. This has been going on for at least 56 years or something like that. And for people to have a hot take, an opinion on what's going on over there, they should be educated. They should know what's going on. You can't just listen to TV news and agree with them. You need to find out the truth, listen to multiple sources, and uh, make an opinion from there. Think about, think about your opinion before you go spouting off about things. Especially when, you know, there's people in this country who have family members who are dying over there. So, it's very important to be educated. And don't get your news from TikTok or Facebook. And don't just get your news from TV. Um, I think 46%, 48% of people get their news from network television. And the other 46, 48% get their news from TikTok. And then the other 2 or 4% get their news from newspaper or print which is the most accurate, but you can tell that that is going away because people don't have the attention span to read. And I think a lot of people were never educated to read. We have an education crisis in this country. And if we lose our public education system the way we had it when, when I was growing up, if they make it all a private system and give you vouchers to uh, take a certain amount of tax money. It's going to end up like, like the university system is now. And people are going to go into debt trying to educate their younger children. They're going to have to take loans out because it'll be a business then. And it's going to be competitive. And people are, or these schools are going to up tuition um, they're just going to keep raising it. And it's going to be just like colleges. So it's a slippery slope and I don't agree with it at all. And we need to have some public institutions left in this country. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. So hopefully you have a peaceful week. Um, update on the camper. It's going to be in the shop a few more months the door is completely garbage it needs to be replaced it's a defect from the manufacturer um the trim was replaced on the seat the jack was replaced because it crapped out on us last time the gears were completely mush the uh, breaker i don't think they're gonna replace that it just it didn't seem like they wanted to so Hopefully we don't have a fire with that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know when it's going to get back. I'm trying to come up with a different battery box because I do not like what we had on there. It didn't keep the water out at all, and it's very difficult to get the battery in and out. So that's that with the camper, and hopefully it's done by March. And I will be having videos. Um from Alabama when we go down there for Christmas. And um, again, if you'd like to donate to my daughter's GoFundMe, that would be great. In fact, today is Friday. I will match any donations
from Friday until Monday. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check it Monday. I'm gonna check it now as soon as I put this video up, and I'm gonna check it again Monday. And whatever it goes up, I will match. And uh, I don't know. I was kind of hoping that I'd see her again this Thanksgiving. I haven't seen her in over a year, but with her financial troubles, I don't see her being able to fly back here. So that's my goal. And uh, see you next week. Odd Oster, my friends.